ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه او بريز از دو تو الله ان از سچ وي بريز هيم وي سيك از فورغيفنس اند وي اسك از اسيستنس ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا and we seek refuge with Allah from our evil souls and our bad deeds. May yahdihi Allah fala mudilla lah. Whosoever Allah guides, no one can lead astray. Wa may yudlil fala hadiya lah. And whosoever He allows to go astray because they do not want any guidance, then no one can guide. Wa ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. And I bear witness that there is no God worthy of our worship except Allah. Alone with no partners, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh, sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa sallam taslimaan kathira. And I bear witness that Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, is Allah's messenger and a slave. We ask Allah to exalt His mention and grant Him peace, and all those who follow them on their righteous path until the day of judgment. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Bukhari and Muslim reported the following incident. During the life of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, actually, it is in the very early stages of da'wah, the proclaiming the da'wah, when Allah subhanahu wa taala revealed the ayah, wa andir ashiratak al aqrabin, and warn your tribe of nearest kindred, the closest people to you. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mounted the mountain of al Safa. He got on the mountain of Safa, and he called on. The tribes, Quraysh, O Quraysh, O Bani Kaab, and he named a few tribes. And then he said, protect yourselves from the fire. Then he said, O Fatima bint Muhammad, O Fatima, the daughter of Muhammad, protect yourself from the fire. Verily, I cannot protect you from Allah. Regarding that, Abu Lahab said, "Tabban lak, may you perish." Ali hada jamaatana. This is why you have gathered us here. So Allah refuted him with, "Tabbat yada Abi Lahab wa tab." May the two hands of Abu Lahab perish, and may he perish. The point of emphasis is, when the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was commanded to proclaim the da'wah, to in to inform others about Allah's rights. The very first thing he touched upon was what? The hellfire. Jahannam. Protect yourselves from the fire, including his daughter. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is the foundation of scorching hot. And even though we Muslims believe in hell, you cannot be a Muslim unless you believe in hell. We really don't believe in a sense where we act accordingly. In the case of the non-Muslims, this is totally gone. This is something that is not even thought of. Probably most people will live this life without ever thinking of any sort of punishment in the life to come. Muslims, we have a different approach. Still, among the Muslims, we have different levels and degrees. The objective of this lecture is not to scare you, even though you may be scared. But the objective of this lecture is to remind myself and you of something that we often try to forget, even though it is not permissible, nor is it logical that one forgets something so crucial and so real and so soon, actually. And so, scorching hot. When Allah Subhanahu wa Taala spoke concerning Jahannam in the Quran. Which is in maybe thousands of verses. We will try to cover some. We cannot cover all, obviously. So we'll choose that which is most relevant. But if you read the Quran, you find something amazing. First, Allah Azza wa Jal warned the creation altogether. فَأَنذَرْتُكُمْ نَارًا تَلَظَّى. So I have warned you of a fire which is blazing. This is to who? Human and jinn. Everyone. What about the angels? The angels. Do they disobey Allah? Do we have bad angels in Islam? Do we have Lucifer, the fallen angel? لا يعصون الله ما أمرهم 
وَيَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ They don't disobey Allah concerning any command He gives. And they do everything that He commanded. Still Allah says, وَمَنْ يَقُولُ مِنْهُمْ وَمَنْ عَفْوًا وَمَنْ يَقُلْ مِنْهُمْ إِنِّي إِلَاهٌ مِنْ دُونِهِ فَذَلِكَ نَجْزِيهِ جَهَنَّمْ Whoever among the angels, hypothetically speaking, if one of the angels was to say, I am a Lord, I am a God, besides him, meaning besides Allah, Allah says that one we will recompense with hell. Who? The angels. What about the prophets? What about the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? With his status with Allah. As far as we know, the most beloved creation of Allah to Allah is the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He, with his dignity, with his status with Allah, was told, لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر فتلقى في جهنم ملوما مدحورا. Do not make equals with Allah, other gods, lest you'll be thrown in hell. Thrown in hell, blameworthy and rejected. The Messenger of Allah was warned and threatened by Allah. If he were to take other gods besides Allah, he would be thrown in hell. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa So you will find that Allah azza wa jal made no distinction. This issue of hell is something that was mentioned repeatedly in the Quran. If you read the Quran almost in every page, there's a warning. So we will not be heedless. So we will not forget about something that cannot be forgotten. And that shows you that Allah won the creation, then the angels, then the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam concerning the hellfire, then what about me and you? We are definitely included in this threat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so we should act accordingly brothers and sisters in Islam. Now what I will attempt to do is as Allah called it, it's like a nuzul. Nuzul is like an accommodation, right? You go to some other country and you know, you have a residence or you may stay in a hotel or a furnished apartment, excuse me, or something along these lines. This is a nuzul for you. This is your accommodation. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had mentioned that Jahannam is of that. It will be nuzul for its inhabitants. And usually, if it's a hotel, they have a, a pamphlet, you know? about the package. You know, we have, you know, swimming pools, and you know, we have, you know, uh, fresh breakfast and, you know, lunch and dinner will be served. And they mention all the good things that they have in order to, uh, you know, in order to make you inclined towards choosing them or favoring them over other businesses. So they try to give you what you will receive if you were to go to this particular accommodation. And we will follow this approach. We will see step by step, what is going on or what will be going on in Jahannam al billah So we will make sure that this will not be our residence. So we 